Do you want a seven foot tall industrial bookcase for under a hundred dollars? We did too. So today we're going to show you how we made ours for under a hundred dollars. What are these? Oh, these are sweet. What are we building? We are going to build a rolling bookcase for my office. Oh, these things look badass. They are very sturdy. And it's a good thing because this bookcase is like a 200 pound gorilla. 800 pound gorilla. It's like a tiny gorilla. <laughs> it's like a tiny gorilla. Apparently, she needs a place to stack her anvils, her bowling balls, and all of her weights because we are building a monstrous bookshelf today. Monster. This thing is going to be so heavy. I don't even think she knows how heavy it's going to be. But it's going to look nice. Oh, it'll look nice. I'm sure because you do good work. <laughs> but it's going to be heavy. All right. Let's get to our cut list. Our cut list is pretty simple. Just a few cuts. Big pieces of wood, little cuts. All right, great, we got everything right. Oh, crap. Bad news. Oh, man. <laughs> Look, there's gonna be a lot of pocket holes needed for these things. I got a trick to do my pocket holes. I don't know how good you guys are. So, we're gonna need to put pocket holes in the two by fours that are cut to 37, and these big ass two by 12s <laughs> need some pocket holes also. We're gonna pin the two by fours to either side of these two by twelves to make a long, sturdy, heavy <laughs> shelf. 18 so, inch shelf. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you my trick and then uh, you show me yours. Ready? All right, all my pocket holes are drilled. What's your trick? All right, my trick's a uh, Craig jig. We'll show you that later. <laughs> Okay, we're going to assemble the shelves. To assemble the shelves, we'll need the 1x12 and two 2x4s. And we've already drilled the pocket holes. And so what we're going to do is put a 2x4 on each side of the 1x12. Screw them together. Glue and screw them together. The frame will be made out of 2x4s. So all we really need is to align this with the 2x4. Set that like that. Set this one right here. Well, I guess I should glue it first. Let's do that again. Drill them together. Okay, we have assembled all five shelves at this point using our two by 12s and our two by fours. We have, oh. <laughs> Did you get a hernia? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. <laughs> we have drilled pocket holes, used pocket holes to attach the sides so that you can't see them from the front. All we have to do now is stain it and assemble it, but we cannot assemble it out here because it's a very large piece of furniture. And given that this is a two by 12 and a two by four, this shelf must be 15, 20 pounds. It's, an ex it's a super, it's super sturdy. This is what he said about the anvils and the, and the bowling balls. We'll take these inside, we'll assemble it inside, and we'll meet you in there. All right, now it's time to assemble it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna measure out where we're gonna put the shelves and where we're gonna put the dowel rods. And we're going to transfer the marks all the way across all four boards. But is this where the shelves go? Now we're going to put the dowel rods <laughs> in. I'm going to do that every time. Okay. <laughs> all right, I think this is going to be a bit tricky. I don't think so. <laughs> Now 
Now we're going to attach the shells using the pocket holes we drilled earlier. Okay, time to install the hardware. All right, we got some corner pieces. We painted them with soft iron, and then we got some bolts that we also painted with soft iron. Self-tapping. Now that all four corner brackets are on, what's next, babe? Now we'll install the casters. We're attaching the casters with these little half inch bolts. All right, now we're gonna stand it up and add the hardware on the dowels on the side. One, two, three. Oh. <sighs> Babe, why do we make such tall bookcases? <laughs> so I like them. <laughs> the bookcases are always so gigantic. Do you guys remember our last bookcase? It was gigantic. Eight this feet one, tall. <laughs> yeah, the last one was eight feet tall. I think. I'm gonna put a link to the last one up right here. Go check it out. It was huge. We're just down to the finishing touches. We're gonna finish off these dowel ends with a washer and a little three eighth inch bolt. All right. All done. Not bad for 90 bucks. And a few hours worth of work. Not bad at all. All right, good job, babe. Good job. <laughs> Every time. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> Hi, it's Kim. And Garrett. Do you like to do it, build it, make it? So do we. So join us each Wednesday and Friday for new videos. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified of our new episodes. <laughs> Magic tricks. Y'all wanna see some freaky shit?